Why is it that all the things that are good for health are bad to taste? And the things that are good to taste are bad for health. But this is the riddle of the universe. God has always kept these two options. Now choose. Do you want that happiness that is like nectar now, but will become like poison later on? Or do you have the good intellect to choose that which is like poison now, but will become like nectar later on? That choice you can make if What does self-discipline mean? Self-discipline means you do what is beneficial, not what is pleasurable. In other words, you are focused not on gratification, not on pleasure, but on what is beneficial, what is uplifting, what is productive. That ability to restrain yourself is self-discipline. Self-discipline is one of the most powerful virtues. Where you are not running after gratificatory pleasure, you are willing to embrace even pain if you know this pain will lift you up. See, take a look at what happens to children. The child who runs after pleasure rejects knowledge. Why study video games is more pleasure? The vidyarthi, the seeker of knowledge, rejects immediate gratification. So the same principle holds all through life. Self-discipline. The thing that is beneficial, even though it doesn't have pleasure, even though it is painful, are you willing to do it? That is the discipline. There was a black American athlete in the 1980s. Some of you may have, may be remembering his name, Edwin Moses. So Edwin Moses was an astonishing track and field athlete. He had the world record of winning 122 events at a stretch. He was a 400 meter hurdler. Edwin Moses, he entered the Hall of Fame of different places, etc. He was asked, what is the secret of your success? He gave a very interesting answer, which I absolutely love. His answer was, I have a greater ability to tolerate pain than the others. Why? Because athletes are always facing pain. The body says no and they are forcing them beyond the limits of their pain. So how much pain you can tolerate to that extent you can stretch yourself. If you say no pain then no gain, you stay in your comfort zone. He has made his mindset such. He has imposed that self-discipline upon himself. The self-discipline is so necessary in life. It is the first lesson taught by the mama giraffe to the baby giraffe. In the African savanna, when the mama giraffe gives birth, It doesn't sit down and release the baby from its womb. With its long legs standing tall, it releases the baby from a height of 12 feet. So that little infant giraffe falls to the ground with a thud. How cruel. You will say this mama is a terrible mother. And then what happens? That baby giraffe is shocked by the pain and it tries to get up, it totters up. The moment it gains balance and is standing, the mother comes and kicks it and drops it to the ground again. How harsh and inconsiderate. 
but this is the love of the mother the mother is teaching the baby it might be painful but you need to do it you will need to get up because it's a few minutes and the lions will be here your only chance of survival is to tolerate the pain so in the same way we have these two paths the kathopanishad says shreya and prayer there are two kinds of happiness what is shreya happiness and what is prayer happiness so first prayer happiness it is that happiness which gives immediate pleasure but in the long run it becomes like poison if you take the fourth gulab jamun definitely it is delicious but after 30 years when your sugar count goes out of control now it's like poison and what is shreya happiness the reverse presently it is bitter like poison but later on it becomes sweet like nectar so if you get up at 5 o'clock leave the bed and go and have a cold water bath is bitter like poison but later on when your body becomes healthier and your mind re- reaches a higher level you say wow so wonderful now the choice is always there between prayer and shreya what is it that you are going to choose it will all depend on your ability for self discipline there is a saying in hindi amle ka khaya aur badon ka kaha baad mein pata chalta hai the amla is the indian gooseberry it has got the vitamin c of 10 oranges and it is full of antioxidants so if you eat one amla every day then you will definitely keep the doctors away but there is a catch to it there is always a catch to it that's how god has designed this world so the amla is very bitter obnoxious to taste so the mother says my child eat amla the child says how terrible the mother says that the benefits you will come to know later on you know when i was a little child i still remember thinking why is it that all the things that are good for health are bad to taste and the things that are good to taste are bad for health but this is the riddle of the universe god has always kept these two options now choose do you want prayer that happiness that is like nectar now but will become like poison later on or do you have the good intellect to choose that which is like poison now but will become like nectar later on that choice you can make if you enhance your ability for self discipline self control this is the will power challenge there was one social researcher in stanford in the 1950s called walter michel he wanted to check the self control of toddlers of 3 year olds so he designed this experiment and called it the toddlers torture how was the torture done he would get the toddler and place before the little one a marshmallow and say if you like you can eat it but if you don't eat it for 20 minutes then i'll take this away and give you two see now you can't tell the toddler that you know you do this then your future will be bright so 20 minutes either you have immediate pleasure now or you hold on and 20 minutes later you will get double the pleasure so he tested 500 toddlers they would put them there leave the marshmallow and then go behind and see from the window what happens for some of the toddlers it was a no go when there is gratification there what's there to think about 
Forget it. Ah. Some of the toddlers deliberated over this puzzle for two minutes. Hmm? First time in my life this puzzle has come before me. Don't eat it, then you will get to. I never thought of such things. After two minutes, the intellect would give way to the tuggings of the mind. Eat it. Some toddlers held on for full seven to eight minutes. And the way they would desist was also interesting. They would try and distract themselves. Don't look at it. But after seven to eight minutes, it was just irresistible now. Some toddlers actually held on for the full 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, they received the reward. Two marshmallows. Now an interesting twist happened to this. Later on. Walter Michel's daughters were also among the tested children. And they subsequently, when they grew up, also went into Stanford. So interest in this study was revived. And researchers said, let's find out how are the children doing now. And they discovered that those children, subsequently they continued following them for the next 15-20 years. They discovered one very revealing and interesting fact. It was found that the children with the maximum self-control were excelling in all realms of human activity. They were doing well in studies because they had self-control when the mind said this, no. They had better control over their tongue. They were eating the proper things. Their health was better. They were not lazy. They were exercising. They had far better physique. They did not have chemical addictions. When they worked, they were sincere. They were getting promoted rapidly. Because they could control their words, they had more interpersonal harmony. And those children with the least self-control, they were the ones getting into all kinds of problems. Their bodies were out of shape because there was no control over the tongue. They repeatedly had interpersonal relational conflicts because they had these fits of anger. They were insincere in their studies. Their SAT scores were far below. They were repeatedly dismissed from their jobs. They had chemical addictions and 12% of them had been to jail and come back. That is when these researchers concluded that if there is one personality trait that correlates with success in every sphere of human activity. It is that self-control, that self-discipline, that willpower. So, we are discussing the secret to awaken your best self, which is focus that is built on your ability to Shut off distractions with the help of self-discipline.